So yeah, t welcome everyone to my session and super thanks to the M365 and Power Platform community for having me here today. So my demo session is actually a very, very simple session, which I which I decided to come up with because it helped me to solve a problem, which I believe others may have um, similar problems in that regard. So, so yeah, so my name is, Without wasting much time, this is the agenda. I'm going to go through an introduction, understanding Copilot Studio, talk a bit about the power of AI, then go fully into the demo. And um, and yeah, th that's where we're going to stop. So here's my profile. Um, I'm Joseph Fadero. To sum, to sum down my profile a bit, I will say I'm a problem solver who uses the tool at his disposal to achieve achieve the work he has to do. So I use various tools and I have some couple of certification, but without wasting much of our time, let's go for my introduction into what we have to do today. So first of all, uh, the major buzzword we've been hearing so far in from the year 2022 upward is AI, 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 and AI itself. I'm not yet to tell us about AI. I'll sound like a broken record talking about AI, but, but AI itself, it's really, really powerful. And when the whole buzzword of AI came about, I was asking myself, what makes AI itself special? Is it the programmer skills or is it the, what makes it special? And due to some bit of research I did, I discovered that the major, um, the major reason behind AI's performance is largely due with, I'm talking of the large language model, which is what we we terms as AI today, largely deal with the amount of data AI has been trained with. So that gives me to this my demo. So while I was preparing to take a Microsoft certification, the Microsoft Fabric certification, so I had questions which I had and I had to be consulting one AI or the other to provide me with the answer. Now, the thing about large language models is because they've been trained with a large pool of data. They've been trained with a large pool of data. You have to do, you have to filter the data using stuff which we call prompt engineering to get the results you want, which takes a lot of argument, annoying time to get the results you want. So, so what I was thinking was, Okay, instead of doing this approach of going through this route, can't I just upload the data I want and let the language model to help me provide answers to it and sort of create my own AI too? Now, it's important to note, yes, as at this point in time, probably other platform also offers this, but I'm a, should I say, local developer as well, and I love to experiment and try things out. And I also love the fact that I will be able to do more customization using Copilot Studio. So without wasting much time, so let's get into the bot which we have today. Uh, okay. So first of all, I, I don't like to add Zoom. I don't like to add Zoom. Uh, so Yes, Copilot Studio. If you go on your browser, Copilot Studio. I don't want to believe maybe everybody on this call knows what Copilot Studio is. If you don't know, Copilot Studio is a part of the Power Platform stack that allows you to create interactive um, copilots or what people with them to call your um, your chatbots, your assistant, your copilot assistant, your robotic assistant. So Copilot Studio is the tool that can help you create those type of applications and processes. So for you, if you're just getting, if you're just new to Copilot Studio, you can just click on try a demo, try for free. If you have a Microsoft Work or School account, that would get you to be able to sign up for Copilot Studio. Uh, okay, so the annoying Tim's bug. Just one moment, okay. Uh, just trying to get rid of that annoying bug. Okay, yeah, so back to this, back to my screen. Now, so on Copilot Studio, once I click on sign in, I get navigated to the to the experience, which, 
which we have here for for Copilot Studio, which is currently loading. Okay, Copilot Studio. So on the experience, like I said, they are they are there's a nice place for you to start and get started in building out your your own copilot. And what I normally recommend for people who say, well, they don't know how to go ahead to build things. It's always good to like check through the templates to see if there's one um, one relating to your particular problem or your solution at that moment in time. At that moment in time. So here is the chatbot I created, the chatbot I created. But the purpose of this demo, I would also be, sh I will also show how you can go ahead to create it yourself. It's a very simple process. Leads, it needs little to no customization for you to adopt for yourself. Now, so this is the chatbot I created. I call it Learn Fabric with Joseph. And in the chatbot, I have the test chatbot. Now, what this chatbot does is I can ask it any question which I have in regards to fabric. Now, what I did, which is which I feel is kind of different from from what uh, was normally in other other common um, large language model is under the knowledge section, I specify the um, the documents which I need because I'm someone who likes scanning through Microsoft documentation. So I just specified the documents which were which I was interested in learning, and I uploaded them as knowledge in my Copilot um, Studio experience. Now, once I've uploaded them as knowledge in my Copilot Studio experience, this also this also helps field limits my data to just those knowledge in that experience. Now I can ask it to, let's say for instance, tell me, tell me about Microsoft Fabric. Now the moment I ask it this, it's it will supply me the answer uh, based on based on what is in the documentation, not what is outside from the documentation. And if you see this last bit of it, it's asking, can you provide your name to help track your request? Now, the reason why I included this part was because I also add the question that, okay, once I once I probably ask a question, I also want to have like history, like version history, like history of the conversation which I have which is what is currently available in your normal, your all your normal large language model. So what I did was this information, which I asked the copilot, I store it in a spreadsheet. I store it in a spreadsheet using a Power to Me flow to help me store that information. So right now, if I provide it my name and my email address, also I, this, I can use any email address. But just for the purpose, purpose of this demo. So the moment I do this, it stores the information in those in the spreadsheet, and I can go ahead to keep on asking more questions of on fabric and it to keep on stop storing the information in the spreadsheet. So what it's data flow. Got the data flow. So once I add this, it provides me an answer and I can open the spreadsheet for us to see. So this is the most recent question which I asked. So this is the spreadsheet. So Joseph Fadero, Joseph Fadero and Alice data flow, and this is the solution that the my chatbot provided. So I have a way to store the question that was asked and the solution which was provided. So how did I go about doing this? And it also said, but that's also something entirely, di entirely different. But how did I go about doing this? I built a flow, which is like an action in the Copilot bot, which collects information from Copilot Studio itself, which are just simple variables that are already in Copilot Studio, the name, the email, the questions, the solution, and I add the road to a table, a table with Power Automate. Uh, I'm adding it to an Excel table, and I'm doing a send an email action. It's a very, very simple flow and simple process for anybody 
um, anybody to replicate as well. Now, so how can you get started to build this flow, which I'm sure is is highly what people are interested in on this call. So how you can get started to build this out is under the Copilot Studio experience, you can just come to the create. You can start with create a new Copilot. A new Copilot. Under the new Copilot, you give the Copilot a name, whatever you want to call it, maybe whatever you want to learn. Let's say, um, learn to, want to learn about AI assistance <laughs> uh, or ant assistance. So, so, yeah, so you can give it a name and you can give it the instructions that direct the behavior of your co-pilot, including its tasks and how it's completed them. You can give it instructions. If you don't even want to give it an instruction, you can just go ahead to add knowledge, add knowledge to the co-pilot. So adding knowledge, under the add knowledge, you have various options for you to add knowledge. You can add a public available website to the Copilot Studio, you can upload a file. You can upload a file as well to the Copilot Studio experience. So those are some of the things you can do. You can do for your Copilot Studio experience. Experience. I can once I do that, I can now click on create, create essentially, and with that you've created your bot. Now, even if you created your bot like I did and you've not added any, you didn't you did not add any knowledge, sorry, you can still go ahead to add knowledge to the bot and you can go ahead to add actions which allows you to perform various automations based on the results of the bot. Now so for copilot studio experience, it's important to note that how conversation go on in Copilot Studio, like this question that I ask that is providing me and the question which I'm asking it, how they are stored, they are stored in things called topics. So under your topics, you can find various conversation, various triggers, and you can modify pre-existing trigger. You can add a trigger based on your, your required request. You can add, these are custom triggers you can Add, you can go to the system triggers, which were the ones pre-built in Copilot, which are which have like a little bit of customization you can do. So, but without wasting much of time, that is what I have for us today. It's simple, I, well, sort of simple flow. I would be linking, leaving the link to the documentation on probably how to do this with with the team and. Feel free to connect with me if you have any questions related to Power Automate and Copilot Studio as well.